Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We the best song rappers of the year. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Big 5-1 in the building. Big 5-1 in the building. Uh, uh. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I see you. 79ers, where you at? Big Cody Taylor, where you at? I got my nephew in the building tonight. Yep, with my valley zone. Five star, what's good? What's good? No line, no shine, network. Bring it to you every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Pacific time, 7.30 Pacific time. We go bring that heat. What? What? Where you at, nephew? Come on, plug on in. Plug on in, big dog. It's the show. No line, no shine, network. It's your boy, Uncle Ike from Like and Wrong Show. Ooh, here we go. Yeah. You did it again. I see you five one. No, 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 we didn't. Woo! Yes, we did. What's up, nephew? Hey, what's up? How you doing? I see you rocking that niner, that niner beanie. Uh, and my dog, I see you. Man. Hey, this for you right here. This one right here. We got to bring it in tight and right for you. Yes, sir. What? 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 Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Quality James in the building. Yes, Big sir. Big center in the building. What? What? Big five one. Talk to me. Yes, Woo. Sir. All right. Lexa, stop. Lexa, stop. So oh, hard headed lady. What's good, nephew? And uh much, man. Just chilling. I see you. I see you, man. Season sure. over with. Talk to me, man. What you got going? Just an off season grind, getting back into it. Just make sure I'm ready for the uh for spring ball. That's right. That's right. It's <clears throat> always a long season. Yeah. A long preseason. What did, what did you do to man to, to rest your body? Did you go on vacation? Did you hit the Bahamas? No, nah, I really just took a like a week off, you know, didn't do much uh physical activities. And after a week I got right back into it. Getting footwork. Wow, Y'all hearing that? Working out. Y'all hearing that for those for those Youngsters that always listen to our show, your big brother Colin say he he took a week out, rested his body, and he got back at the you know back got back out there in the weight room, preparing himself for next season. Now, what what year are you, nephew? So I'm a little weird. I'm a uh, I'm a junior in the class. Okay, I'm, I'm a junior. I'm a junior overall. Okay, yeah. So so, I'm a, I'm so you got two mom. years to play. No, I got three years to. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's hey, that's sexy for a lot of colleges. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's hey, that's a that's 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 a good thing for a lot of colleges. Now, will you think you'll be able you'll move your position, or are you gonna stay in the center? I think my main position right now is for center. But you know, if if a guard go down or something, you know, I'm, I'll probably be that uh, that next man up. So <clears throat> I'm really keep my skill set open so I can play both center and guard. And even uh, tackle if we needed to. Wow. That's unbelievable. That's an that's ultimate team player right there. How how big are you now? I'm about 6'3", um, 280, 280 pounds. Okay. I'm trying Ooh, to get that's my, nice. I'm gonna try to that's get some nice. like around 295 by the season starts. Okay. That can happen. That's easy. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's easy. What's up with the, the, the weight room regimen? How was that? Weight room doing pretty good. You know, we, we just getting back into it. So we starting up a lot of weights. I mean a lot of uh a lot of sets and reps and you know, <laughs> Hey be quiet. That's a happy you a big dog, so you know the dog. Yeah. It's all love. I got him here too. A lot of weights, a lot of reps and sets and lower uh weights. So you know we can really get back into it and then by the time spring ball starts, we we gonna uh up the weight and lessen the uh Reps, the reps, yeah. How long? How long you been in the weight room? Like, what grade? Your boy Pull Up said, 
Loop Mob said, what's happening? <laughs> oh, what's up? What's up? He said, what's up? Yeah. I saw, <laughs> when did you start lifting? Um, Probably like my freshman year of high school. Okay. That was my uh, hey, what? my ground zero, my basis. What high school did you attend? Springfield Central High School. It's up north in uh, Springfield, Massachusetts. Okay. And what made you want to choose New Mexico? Like, out of all the places to go to, New Mexico, a nice place, man. You ever you ever been to New Mexico? Oh yeah, I have. But the world want to know. I've been. Yeah. To, hey, I've been to Albuquerque. You go there. It's like a beautiful view of the mountains. Everything is beautiful. It's a, a nice big city. A lot of people there. They got. Uh, it's rich with history. There's a lot that's been on going on in that city. So, and honestly, it's, not, it's a new part of the world. I never been yeah. like really to the west coast, and that's like the farthest right. west, I, west I've been. So, okay. I okay. Just, Go ahead, see the world. That's nice. How so? How's your experience been so far, man? Leaving from Connecticut, that's a, 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 all the way to across the country, man, to New Mexico. How how's that experience been so far? You know, at first it was a little scary because I never been to Texas and I ain't, I didn't know what what to expect really when I got out there. But I, since I've been down there, the, my experience has been nice. You know, the people down there they nice. Um, the food, yeah, the food down south, I it's good. That. that food is money, <laughs> steaks, yeah, all that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been really cool. I like the weather down there too. It don't, it don't really get, it get cold that much, and it don't snow that much, so it's pretty cool. It's snow in Connecticut. Yeah, it snow a lot. <laughs> you, you you didn't have to shovel no snow. Not not yet, but. Hopefully before I leave, it snow a little bit. See, I get that that little piece of home before I leave. Get a little experience. That's yeah. all right, man. Then what age were you when you realized, like, man, football is my love. Like, this is my passion. Or did you just have other sports in your back pocket and you just happened to play football? So before high school, I was really a basketball player. And then I got a little bit too big for basketball, so I switched over to football. <laughs> Right. It wasn't really until my junior year, probably, where I realized, like, like I could really do something with football. So, my senior year, I locked in, started grinding there, and then, you know, it's boosted my career for them. That's that's dope. Now, what what who who helped you to like brushing up on your craft, your skill? Did, was it just your regular high school coach? Um, or did you have someone helping you working on your hand, your footwork, your technique? Who so, did you have, or did you have anybody working with you? I give credit to a lot of a lot of coaches that I've met over the years that I've played football. So what I like to do is I like to go to different coaches and pick up like new things that I could add to my craft, add to my bag. You know, I work out. You see, I just worked out with uh, Logan Thomas in, in, in Texas. Um, okay. I worked out. I went to Florida with my buddy a couple of weeks ago. I worked out with a, what a coach he had down there. And, you know, they just – everybody has this little little pieces of information that I could keep adding to my games, you know, there really you help perfect my craft. So, there I give go. credit to – from high school going all the way up, you know, all the coaches I played for, my JUCO coaches, my high school coaches – trainers that I've had so <clears throat> really my 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 technique comes from all all around. That's good. Big Water's in there. Big Walk, could you jump in man if you still on? Hall of Famer. Seattle Seahawks Hall of Famer, one of the best offensive linemen that ever played. The godfather of old linemen. He had tapped in man. Big seven mm -hmm. one. If you still in there man I I'm I'm gonna see if Nephew can ask you a couple questions. I know he tapped in. I don't know if he's still in. Big Walt, you in? If you are, hit the camera with the plus sign on it. If not, man, I'm gonna keep on. Anybody wanna jump? Wanna jump in and you know ask Big James, Big Five, want some questions? You know, you guys just push it, and I, I'll let you guys come on in, man. So, who was the toughest cat you ever played against? And do you remember? Um. So this season, I really had my uh, my my biggest competition in my career. I, I um, 
So the SMU set the SMU D tackle, he's pretty good. His name is like Terrence Newman. Um, okay. That was a that was a battle that game. The there's someone from from um Sam Houston, number ninety two. I don't remember his name, but he was really good. I think I heard he was about to like answer the draft or something like that. Or some with the NFL, but he yeah, he was really good. Um what made him good if you remember? He was just big and strong. Like he was okay. hard to move, definitely. I usually okay. don't have trouble with like blocking big people, but him, he was just he was solid, man. Good six two threes, maybe fifteen or something like that. But oh yeah, he was solid. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's, a, it's a challenge when the guys are like six one, six two, three fifteen, three twenty. You got to try to get up under, man. Huh? Yeah, and he was good with his hands too. So, like you know, trying to refit my hands and stuff, that was really a big challenge for him. Now, what are, what some of the skills you do? What or I, I can say drills that you do for your hand technique. I don't want to tell everybody all your tricks. Drill any any specific? Well, not even specific. Any drills you do just help you with your your hand technique. So for center, I uh. I really have to emphasize getting my offhand up when I snap my hand. So in the off season, you know, I do little footwork drills that involve me moving my left hand first before I snap. Um, one thing I've been working, I've been working, I've been trying to snap with both hands. So, you know, if somebody lines up on my opposite side, I can just switch the ball and, you know, strike with hands as closer to them. So, okay. More things that I, some, some else I do with my hands too, uh, I usually have, like, a bag or something to strike on. Or, you know, I'll just be striking, like, a pole or something. So <laughs> just keep my keep my hands active. Keep them strong. Hey, that's so funny. People don't realize it, it, you do it so much until it become a part of your life and your habit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You got yeah. any young, younger siblings? I got – I'm the oldest of seven. Okay. So, being that you're the oldest, do you ever find yourself in a house, in a refrigerator, in a kitchen – Going to the refrigerator, pulling and blocking like one of your little sisters. <laughs> yeah, they, my my brother he he big right here, so he he always be trying to test me. So I must line it up, line it up. What's up? See, <laughs> he try to get off, get uh get around me. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Have, have you ever had to? Have you ever had to put hands? You know, like line it up, put both hands on mom's, and drive into the kitchen or something like that. <laughs> Nah, she she's small, so if I do that, she she might go down. <laughs> straight pancakes, straight pancakes. Yeah. Huh? You know what I you know what I wish they can do, What's nephew. Up? I wish they can put for you the lineman, offensive lineman. Pancakes should be a box. Mm hmm. Let let it be a stat. Like that should be a stat. Mm hmm. You know what I'm, right. you know what I'm saying? And so if my, you get one, huh? They should have like an award at the end of the year. The pancake, pancake. Uh. What you call them? Yes. The yes. Flat. What you call the people that make pancakes? <laughs> <laughs> and to be fun, and, and to keep it real, you can get a special with this name, image, and likeness. You know, mm. you might be able to get a pancake deal. The AHA International House of Pancakes. Anybody, Norm, Denny, whoever. Yeah. <laughs> whoever want to give a special on them cakes. Yeah. You might want to tap into that, nephew. I'm giving you business ideas, man. Go on, man. I, I, I'm going to have one. I'm going to be in the DM, see what's up. <laughs> so 49 is your favorite squad? Yes, sir. From yes, the East Coast sir. all the way to – what it makes was, you like the 49ers? So I was young when I started uh, watching football. I think the first first real, like, football team I watched play was the 49ers when they played the uh, – who was it? The Ravens in the uh in the finals. And that's when Colin okay. Kaepernick was playing for them and all them. And I okay. just I, I I like Colin Kaepernick for like, you know, his uh what he does, like his stance. Yeah, like, yeah. So that's awesome. ever since seeing him, I just fell in love with the forty ers and I ever since that's then right. I done I see. And that's and then taking on a serious note, let's bring it back to what you were talking about. What nephew, what do you think we can do uh to help this younger generation, so you're the oldest of seven, uh, mm -hmm. with the social injustice that's going on, what can we do to educate our younger generation on how to move forward with the things that we had to do? Of course, I'm older than you. 
your yeah. age group don't play. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to think y'all was weak. I ain't gonna, I'm going to keep it 100 because y'all wore skinny jeans and stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, we, that wasn't my era. You know what I'm saying? We didn't wear that. <laughs> but y'all can't say y'all don't play. Nah, well, uh, I actually, a couple years ago in my city, we had a little protest. It was a, a like a lot of people walking down. Uh, we did, we had a march. We walked. We uh, marched in front of the um, the police building. We was trying to, you know, spread awareness for, give support to what was happening, you know, in our world, yeah. Black Lives Matter and all that. Yeah, so, I think that's important. Just the, the, the what you just said. Wow, that's interesting. To spread awareness. Uh huh. Because I've talked to people, nephew. They said they didn't even know it was like that. I'm like, huh? Yeah, it's like little things like that, you know, it adds up. We, you know, seeing people from different parts of the world all tapping into this one movement. So right. it shows just that, you know, shows support, shows that we, we want change. You feel That's me? Right. That's right. And you've been in the car with, with maybe, I don't know, if a family member or a couple of your partners and 5 police behind yeah. you and you say all right they're gonna the police you're not doing anything uh-huh could have been done any... wrong you know you, you don't have no the police on the side of the road you know we look into the to the to the rearview mirror seeing if they're gonna right. pull up behind us like right right so you know the feeling yeah you tell your boy look, what you do nephew what you do you tell your boy look man i go to police here they come don't look back mm -hmm. what's mm -hmm. the first thing your boy do Look, start shacking his seatbelt <laughs> on. Act normal, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is funny. <laughs> First thing he do is look back. He's like, man, I told you. Told Everybody you. Act normal. Uh -huh. Yep. Put your yeah. hand up. Look in their eyes. The whole routine. Yeah. It's, you know, we laugh at his comical, man, but it's a sad thing that you have to do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You have to teach your son. But stuff like that, that's what, that's what we got to, like, uh, educate our youth on. Cause, you that's know, right. A lot of people, they grow up without having those interactions. So, really, when they get put into situations like that, they don't know what to do. So, so I love it. youth on stuff like that. What you going to major in, man? So, uh, social studies, uh, political side? Uh, was... Business management major. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I love it. Did anybody you have any older uh, uh like cousins that played ball in college? Older friends? No, nah, not really. I just I don't know, I just picked up a football, ran with it. You gonna be the first in the hood. Yeah. Hopefully That's I can right. be that, that that role model to all my youngins out there. Ain't no hopefully you already doing it. You are you already doing it. Yeah, you already doing it, man. Like, I appreciate your family, the village. Moms and everybody, man, for helping create a man that, that can be a leader in our society, man. So keep doing what you're doing, bro. Yes, sir. Appreciate hey, that. We on the West, we in Cali, just to let you know. So you might yeah. not think you're being seen, baby. Yeah, this, that's crazy. I'm more than no line, no, we on the opposite sides of the no, country. No line, no shine worldwide. So yes, what sir. you're doing on the East, we see it on the West. Let yes, me ask sir. you, what does no line, no shine mean to you? I mean, without an old line, without the trenches, you really can't you can't have a football game. So the trenches, in my opinion, is the most important part of the the whole game of football. Come on, <clears throat> real spit. Ain't no it's seven. It's only seven on seven. <laughs> it's about ten forty nine over here. Right. I'm not. Hey, look. I'm not spending no money to go watch no seven on seven, man. Ain't nobody. Yeah. Wait, ain't nobody going to ain't nobody going to no bowl games for no seven on seven. The trenches, that's like a like a lost art. That's mm. what everybody misses when they watch football. They see all the wide receivers making catches, the quarterbacks yeah. making throws. But yeah. the real art is in the trenches. Man, I watched Von Miller. I watched Von Miller tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I said, Oh, he hard he's to it. He got the moves. It's he's Man. hard. He's tough. He tough, and you got him and um, what's his name? Ninety two. Oh, I don't. McDonald. Yeah, yeah. He 
It be them big dudes go with their hands. They be the hardest ones to block. Who won that game tonight? You know who won? I don't even know, to be honest. Oh, you yeah, yeah, only seen the first half of it. I had to get ready for the show, man. Mm -hmm. you, so your favorite football team is the 49ers. If you were to get drafted, would you care? No. Wait, if I, I drafted to the 49ers? No, if you got drafted by any team, would, would it really matter? Oh, nah, nah. If, as long as I'm in there, I'm balling. That's, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, that's what that's the answer I wanted to hear. Yeah, I don't care about uh, that. Yeah, that's what I. Well, what cartoon you listen to, man? What was your favorite cartoon growing up, nephew? Favorite cartoon? Yep. Mm, I used to watch Teen Titans a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I used okay. to watch like, Cartoon Network. That was my show. Okay. I got you. And you, what was your cereal? What was your favorite cereal while you was watching Cartoon Network? I, I so I used to watch, I used to eat a lot of uh, cinnamon toast crunch. That's okay, probably I've heard that before. Yeah, <laughs> think about that cereal, man. You gotta hurry up and get up on it mm -hmm, before it gets soft. I hate that. Yeah, you leave it for three minutes. It's a wrap. Mm -hmm. I usually try. You to, gotta try. I try to eat eat all the cereal fast, and then use a little the uh the milk at the bottom still. Pour another bowl of cereal <laughs> and drink the milk. You already know your mama gonna kill you, boy. You know, boy. I just, I just bought all this cereal from Costco. Mine's it's my first bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so look, everybody in your, you say your little brother bigger than you? Yeah, he big. He play, uh, he play basketball, but he, we about the same height. And he two. He years. six three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. So your mom, I don't know if y'all got Costco out there in Connecticut. What y'all, what's y'all big market? We got we got Costco, but we usually use Walmart. Okay. Yeah, yeah everything big. Everything big. Mm -hmm. She got a big got a she got a shop for four big human beings. <laughs> Ooh wee. Man, that's a blessing though. So how was Thanksgiving though? Five was, uh, um for Thanksgiving I went home with my man's Derek from uh from ACU. We went to his uh spot and we had he lives in Florida. Okay. And I ate with him. He had he has a, a beautiful family out there. Okay. That's sweet. That's sweet. But who do all the cooking at the crib? The Joe House. My mom do all the cooking, but you, you know, my uh sometimes my grandmother gonna cook. My sister be cooking a little bit too. From okay. what I I gotta I see got about so if I pull up, we if we pull up, no line, no shine, Uncle Ike from Like a Room Show, pull up in Connecticut. Give me two <laughs> spots where we gotta go. See, I that just we got. I don't know much about Connecticut, but in Springfield, Massachusetts. Okay, Massachusetts. Some Jamaican food, some D and G. Get you a plate of that. Yeah, that is. Some rice and peas with some oxtail or some curry goat. Or Say some, less. A beef patty. That yeah. Say less. Yeah. We there. DNG Jamaican. Is that what it's called? Just DNG? Yep, DNG. No, you didn't hit me with the you didn't hit me with the oxtails? The oxtail. Yo. All right. And that that'll turn you up. I'm not gonna lie. I'm already. I'm already no. Give mm -hmm. me one more spot. One more spot. Um uh, see we got we got like a variety of foods right here. So Spanish food. You go get you a uh like a little like a little plate of Spanish food that that rice and beans with the panini. Oh my god, uh -huh. that'll turn you up. <laughs> I you know? love it, man. Yeah, I love going. I love going throughout the country, man, and just experiencing a different variety of what you're not haven't been used to. Mm -hmm. Eating uh, just every type of food. I don't like the people who go out and eat chicken fingers and French fries. Yeah, right, you know, right. Get something new. Right. Open your mind up. Yeah, let your taste buds enjoy some some different. Big five one nephew, what it do? Colin James in the building, University of New Mexico, Low Bulls, yes, Albuquerque, sir. New Mexico. Yes, hey, sir. Hey, look, y'all check y'all check my nephew out next year, man. Winter conditioning, he gonna put it down. Spring conditioning. You want to give a shout out to anybody before we let you go? Um, yeah, shout out my uh my mom for always uh keeping me pushing. That's that's right. I know she watching right now, but I love you. That's dope. Yeah. Hey, it don't get no better than that. You only got one mama. 
Yes, sir. You got to take care of that. Man, look, man, I wasn't feeling too good tonight. I didn't think I was going to make the show, but this for you. I ain't trying to give me no kudos, but I'm going to let you know, big dog, when you sick, ain't nobody trying to hear none of that. Yeah. You feel me? No excuses. You gotta, when you got a cold, ain't nobody trying to hear none of that. Got to get up so, to it. I just want to share some love with you, man, because it was in my mind. I was like, man, I ain't feeling good, but I was like, man, the show go on. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, man. Yep. Hey, keep doing what you're doing. We go tap in with you, like, maybe in the winter and the spring. Mom, yeah. what mom's at? It was that mom's that gave us some. Let me see. Me, Michaela, who was that? Oh, no, I don't know who that is. Uh, oh, oh. I'll be getting hit in the DMs, too, man. Hey, look. <laughs> this one more, and I got to let you go. Yeah. Nephew, I'm sorry, man. Still done for now. What's going on, champ? Oh, yeah, hey, sir. We we which one still done for now? Yeah, that's my mom's. Okay, uh, mom, how you doing? Thank you. You did a wonderful job with your son. Wonderful job. I don't want you to get in trouble, nephew. But some of the and they grown, they mature, they want to know, man, if you got a yaya or not. I'm a girl, little girlfriend. You got a little yaya? <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't got no girlfriend yet, man. I, oh, I ain't trying to get you in trouble though. Look. <laughs> They hit me up. They be like, okay, right, just let him, you know, he got some dimples and he got the brain. <laughs> and I was like, man, look, I ain't getting involved with that, but they always hit us up because they know we always interviewing young men that's yeah. growing up in their life. But y'all heard it yourself. He's single, but he focused. Yeah. So if you ain't coming correct, don't come at all. Get up out of here with all that mess. Go ahead. Give me a follow, though. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, follow my nephew. Big 5-1 in the building. Yes, yes sir. sir. Hey, much love, man. I appreciate you. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, man. Take care. Yeah. All right. We about to get out of here again every week, man. 7 p.m. Pacific time, 7.30 Pacific time. No line, no shine. No, no line, no shine. Wicked, wicked, wicked. No, 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 no. No line, no shine. We about to get out of here, man. It's your boy, Uncle Ike, from the Ike and Rome show. Check us out again, man. I appreciate our nephew to come in. God bless y'all. God bless your family. Be safe. Happy holidays. We out. Woo!